whole new Listerine and child, you know I need it. I don't know why I ain't been you. This is why my breast ain't cause. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Ladies and fellas in the back, I see y'all. Neek here and I'm back with another video. <laughs> In this video, we're gonna clean out the linen closet because I am trying to like get stuff together so it can be easier for us to move. So like I'm doing each room, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna try to do each room a different day because it's a lot of junk going on. I've been living at my townhouse for five years. So yeah, anyways, that's neither here nor there. I am basically gonna go to Dollar Tree and get some bins so we can go ahead and sort the stuff out and get some stuff ready, like put them in a little toast that Dollar Tree have because they cheap and they easy to like carry around and lug around so you just put it in your car and go to move. So that's what we gonna do. And then we're gonna go check out the house, see what's over there. And I'm gonna go and donate some clothes because I, Got a lot of clothes that was in my closet, girl, that I just was like, what the heck? So I just started throwing stuff out. It was just ridiculous. Oh, and if you wear a size six and boys, I have a lot of shoes that I need to basically get rid of. So yeah, we got a lot going on. So right about now, we about to start moving into our moving vlogs and get in the house, you know, ready to pack up and go. So today I decided we're gonna start with the linen closet. All right, y'all, so I made it back home. Are y'all ready to see the reveal of this crazy, I mean, absolutely crazy linen closet? We about to fix it, though, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. All right. Oh. Girl, we're not talking about clutter. Clutter, too much clutter for your mutter. I need to really clean this, for real. So, I am going to basic girl this dang on thing needs some oil it's all squeaking it's loud like just stay in one place child. i can't wait to get out of here the ghetto girl the ghetto i'm in shambles anyways so basically <laughs> we gotta declutter all of this now i'm putting it in these new tote things that i got because when we move i can just go ahead pick these up you know what i'm saying put them in the car you know nothing else i gotta do after that so that is the real reason why we decluttering this right now because at this point i'm nasty for having it like this okay we got all the products a lot of body girl how much was this i don't even know it's not even focusing uh i'm just in shambles a whole new listerine and child you know i need it i don't know why i ain't been you this is why my breast ain't because it's been in the back i ain't i ain't know where it was all right we got a foot scrubber for my crushed it dog makeup brush girl i don't even know how to do makeup why do i have a makeup brush got a little medicine being here in case you got a little cough cough can't cure covid though but it's alka salsa oh my god so nasty you little nasty grease girl coconut oil grease we got some shampoo from the radisson i don't even know when the last time i've been there girl oh this is the best oil right here it's called wild growth hair oil Acid reducer, girl. I be getting all the heartburn in the world. We got a loofah. Got this little speaker from Five and Below. It works so good. I don't even know. I was looking for this. Got some extra deodorant, girl. I was wondering why it was so musty. This the deodorant. It was all the way in the back. We got some Lacoste deodorant spray. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. It's probably my husband's though, but I'm gonna steal it. All right, y'all. So the first row is clean. We Gucci on the first row. Let's move to the second row. I found this um, lotion that I had got from Bath and Body Works. Smells so good. Called Fresh Sparkling Snow. I think it's good for Christmas time. So yeah, girl, if they still got this, go get it. This is some Indian hemp oil from Softy Light and Natural Hair and Scalp Treatment. It works good. Put it in when you got your braids for your scalp because it be itchy, itchy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, what else we got? We got some mousse and mousse. Use that for my hair, my braids, the olive oil. This is some Versace perfume. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I think my sister got this for me one Christmas. We got some cuticle oil. Girl, at this point, it's becoming a haul. All right, we got some envelopes. I don't even know why envelopes is in here. We got some spa vitamin E oil for um like your face or your hands or your skin. 
You know what I'm saying? I got this from Dollar Tree too, boo. So <laughs> on a budget, a lint roller. I love lint rollers. If you don't have a lint roller, what are you doing with your life? I mean, you just walking around linty. All right, what else we got up in here? My jewelry cleaner. What else we got in here, y'all? We got some Abilene Girl. Okay, so let me put you on real. Oh, dang, can I get it together? Can I put you on real quick? Anyways, this Abilene now. You put this on your stomach and put your waist trainer on or put your workout belt on. When I tell you, you're going to be sweating bu -bu -bu bullets. It's going to work great. All right, second row. <laughs> she done. All right, so now let's go ahead and try to put some stuff in the bin because I don't want to get overwhelmed taking everything out. All right, y'all. So right now I'm about to put the medicine in here. Yeah. So now I'm about to put the hair stuff in here. Alright, so we can put the shampoo in there. Now, I've been using this bed head right now. It's okay, but put the bed head in there. Let's see, when you're cleaning up, you find stuff. I knew my mama said that for a reason. We're going to put some tissue in here. Y'all, I had a whole lava lamp in there. Comment down below if you remember lava lamps and if you love lava lamps. Because I used to love them. Alright, y'all. We almost done. We already got our tissue bin. We got our medicine bin. We got a little flexi rod stuff. We got our little, you know, whatever. We got that. We got our medicine theme. We got our hair bin. Now, I'm about to put... I guess I'm going to have to set it up like that. Child, please act right. I already got left enough going on. Slide that there. I ain't know I had three of these. My goodness. Feminine pads, feminine products. Pass, child, pass. I don't even want to say it if it's a guy watching that. And we have our pad bin. Okay, there we go. All right, y'all, y'all ready for the grand ghetto reveal? Okay, you ain't saying nothing but a word. Okay, so we got our bins all organized and ready to go. So now, when you move, you just go pick it up, put it in the car, you ready to go. Yeah. Hi y'all, I'm on my way to the house to go and see, you know, if they have something done, anything up to date that we have not seen. Now we haven't been inside the house as of lately because they've been locking it up because you know it's pretty much done so yeah we will have to basically wait until we do our inspection to go back inside of the house or i will have to reach out to the site manager to see if he'll let us in but as of right now nobody is going to probably be over here to let us in so we're going to probably just have to peek through the window like again which i'm tired of doing like for real for real i wish i could see my little neighborhood they got like so much cute decorations out for Christmas. Everybody decorating their house. If you decorated your house and your outside patio and all that stuff, let me know in the comments below if you decorated for Christmas and went all out because child, it's like they got porch wars over here, but they ain't ready for my porch. They ain't ready for our porch. We gonna put together y'all, period. People working on the house next to ours, but like child, get y'all selves over there and work on mine. What are you doing? We are up next. So I don't want to go and bother them right now, honestly. So I'm just let them work and do their thing because you know we're supposed to be closing the next two to three weeks, actually two. So I don't want to bother them. Let them go ahead and work. See it? Hold on, let me bag up. I'm gonna let y'all see. Y'all see them in there working on the cabinets? Whoa, 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 whoa. So. As y'all can see, somebody is over there working right now, so I'm not about to go and bother him, let him go ahead and do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Because at this point, it should have been done yesterday. 
that's one thing you will learn with building a house. They gonna give you about 10 closing dates and you ain't gonna be on clothes until I don't know when. But ours supposed to be in two weeks, so that's why we getting all packed up. They do not have the garage painted yet. They do not have the front door painted yet. They don't have the siding yet, which is still crazy to me. Like, why are y'all inside the house working? Get yourselves outside and do that siding, boo. That's gonna be like the longest task, I think. But anyways, whatever, it is what it is. I'm gonna be definitely hanging y'all up with another video on the home update. It's gonna probably be the inspection blue tape walkthrough where we go and make sure everything is okay. So I'm definitely gonna record that so y'all can get some insight. I already have a list of stuff that I need to check at the house when we do our inspection. So that's what I am, you know, ready for. I've been definitely preparing for that. But right now I'm on my way to go to this like little, um, what is it called? Like a donation bin, like you donate your, you like take your clothes to like this blue bin or whatever outside of like grocery stores or like gas station or something. And you just donate clothes. Now I don't know where they donate it to, but as long as the donation bin there, I'm getting rid of my clothes, it's all that matter. And hopefully somebody get it that's in need. Anyway, so that's what we on our way to do right now. This car is going 35 miles per hour. I don't even understand why he driving so slow. Y'all would not believe I done got all the way to this dang on uh, donation uh, being thing that I thought was here and it's not even here no more. So now I gotta look up another one that's nearby but it won't be today. I'm telling you right now, it won't be today. So tomorrow we're gonna have to probably find another donation bin to donate these clothes. But right about now, let me get up out this parking lot because I'm beyond irritated. What y'all do today? Let me know in the comments below. All right, y'all. So I just made it back home. That pretty much wraps up this video. I'm about to edit this video and I'm about to find something to eat. I don't even know what I'm about to eat for dinner, y'all. What y'all eat for dinner? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this moving vlog. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and like so you can get all the updates on the moving vlogs. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for hanging with me, boo. Mwah. Thank you.